Hello my dear students, this is Shilpi Saxena. Welcome to my channel Learning Hub. So today I am going to tell you about radio buttons and frames. Yes, you can use your radio buttons and frames also in your project. So radio button is basically the group of button which will enable you to select one option at a time. For example, you are using uh, gender or uh, you are using the stream, maybe science, commerce or uh, science commerce or humanities so in that case you will be selecting only one option in that case you will you can use one uh, radio button so and frame is basically suppose i want to divide my tk enter window into different parts and uh, that each part will have the widgets which are which will be for that particular frame so we can divide we can divide the window into different parts by using frames so i'll demonstrate how you can use frames and how you can use radio buttons in your project so i have written a program for you don't be scared this program is looking a little bit difficult but it is not at all difficult it is very easy so i'll explain import tk enter this is the li uh, library which we are importing please ignore this at this point of time we will start our programming from here win tk enter tk this i have created a window of size 500 into 500 if you have not watched my previous video please do visit so that you will be able to know that how you can create a window how you can create a label how you can create a entry widget so then only it will be easy for you to understand this radio button so now to divide the window into frame we have to create a frame the name is the user defined name any name frame 1 2 3 4 or f1 f2 f3 whatever you feel like so tkinter dot frame like other widgets also only we will use this keyword and then which we have to divide win win means the window which we are dividing and we have to mention the frame size width and height of the uh, width and height of the frame now bg color is yellow it is not mandatory bg color is not at all mandatory uh, this i have used so that you can see that uh, how your window will look like i'll just show you first then i'll explain you can see i have divided the window into two frames in one frame i have kept this label widget entry widget and radio buttons in second one i have used the radio buttons and the button uh, that submit radio buttons and submit button so there are two frames so how we can use this so uh, if you will if you want to skip bg color you bg then you can skip that now the place where you want to keep it this is the place zero zero means the top left corner it will start from top left corner with i have kept uh, this is when we are talking about horizontal this is the width and when we are talking about vertical this is the height so you can see i'll just again show you this is 500 and this is 200 this one is 200 i've kept 200 height and 500 width so in this way you can define height and width now the next thing is in this i have kept one entry and one label that is enter name and uh, this i'm not going to explain because i've already explained my previous video this how to create a label and how to create an entry widget we'll concentrate on radio button now to create a radio button you i have want to enter create uh, select sex it can be male or female so this is simple label i have i have placed it here at this position now the radio button see when you are creating a radio button you have to give user defined name once you give user defined name after that tk enter is the well the library which we have imported radio button see the class radio button r should be capital like other widgets we will be using radio button in the frame one text is equal to mail font is equal to 15 i think there is no problem which these things already you were using in previous widgets the only difference is instead of using window the name of window i am using the name of frame because we want to place it in this particular frame now font size i have already now this thing is value see each and every radio button should have a value attached to it why because when you are doing programming suppose someone as a user has uh, filled the form and submitted in that form he or she has clicked male or female whatever so how you will know that which radio button was clicked 
so it should return the value which is attached to it it can be any user defined value it's not necessary it is one or two it can be any value so this value should be assigned and this value there should be something to hold this value so we have defined a variable i this is again a user defined value variable it can be a b c d x y z anything you feel like so this variable is totally different from the python variable this is tk inter variable which is totally different from python variable so this variable we have to define here see i have defined it here this i is a tk inter variable which is of integer type i int where is the keyword which will um, tell interpreter that this is i is a it uh, i is a variable of tk inter type which will hold integer value so if you are suppose using string value suppose i am keeping one in as a string or a b c d or whatever value as a string so in that case we have to change it to string s should be capital v should be capital please take care i and v both are capital similarly s and v both are capital but here we are using string integer value that is why i have used int when similarly the radio button 2 it has variable say when we are using the group of radio buttons so variable should be one then only we will identify which very which radio button is clicked in another group of radio buttons you should use another variable one variable means it is a one group of radio buttons so this way it it has attached value two now by using these values we will identify which radio button is clicked i'll tell you how now the next thing is i have placed it at the location and now i have created another frame another frame so this frame again i have taken height and width height width is 500 and height is 300 and where it should place see when you were running this i'll just run this see this this was 200 and this was 500 so another um, the, the another frame i want to place it here this should be in that case the height should be remaining was 300 so i have kept height is 300 and width is 500 but placement should be at what is constant x is constant means x is 0 at x and y 200 see i have started at x 0 y 200 because it is starting at the corner and y is 200 you can change this if you want you can change it if you are making it 150 in that case it will overlap it it will be overlapped if you will keep it 150 it will overlap so uh, looking at the window i have kept it 200 so another uh, another variable i have defined and another set of radio buttons in the frame 2 that is select stream same value 1 and 2 i have kept you can keep 3 and 4 or whatever value you feel like so and this is the button now here this is a button which when we will click this button it will check what you have selected the command is display now we'll go to the top of the program this is the this also i have explained in my previous video how you use command in button so i have defined this is the display function which will be called when we will click on button so in this case see it is not necessary that if a widget is in frame 2 then it will not be able to access the widgets in frame 1 no it is not like that any widget can access any uh, widgets in another frame also so button 1 was in the button 1 was in frame 2 but it is a, it is able it you that button can access the value in widget uh, value of widgets in frame 1 also our entry was in widget uh, frame 1 then also this this button can access it see display print hello even dot get now button was in frame 2 and even that is entry button was in frame 1 then also it is it can access that particular widget even dot get now if i dot get this is again in frame 1 but uh, which button is accessing which is in frame 2 i see when the we will click the radio button the value will not be in radio button that value whatever value we have defined 1 2 3 4 whatever that will be sent to the variable ijk which i we have defined in the 
video button so when we want to access that value we have to use get function to access the value in the radio button so i dot get if it is one you have selected male if uh, i dot get is equal to two you have you are a female so it will print in this way this is simple just to explain you how we can get the value if suppose you have created a form in which you want to access the data and uh, finally you have to uh, insert in the uh, in the uh, sql table so directly you can insert the value male or female this is just to show you how you can use that value so now the thing is uh, j dot get that we are talking about the stream j is the variable that is attached to the stream you have selected science stream you have selected commerce stream so in this way you can access the value i'll just run the program then you will easily understand it suppose i have written my name shilpi now i have selected this and i have selected this now when you will submit because i have used print it will display the result on the output screen i have not used label here hello shilpi now i have selected see here i have selected female so you are a female i have selected science stream so you have selected science stream if you want you can display it on the uh, check enter window using label or if you want you can save it in sql table so in this way we can use frames and radio buttons in our uh, project so in my next video i'll tell you how you can use checkbox and other widgets then i'll just develop a project and show it to you how you can develop a project i'll just take a sample project and develop it so if you like this video please like and subscribe don't forget to share hit the bell icon thank you and have a nice day ahead